Hey, flying fish, Morg. Of course, this puppy flying days are over. You can't eat that one. Why don't you cut it loose? Oh. Out of luck. Well, it's a dumb idea anyhow, put me. Spit it out. Wings on a fish. You know what, Gil? Huh? You turn out to be a real psychopath. Well, hey, Morg. I'm really sorry I didn't measure up. Can't wait to pour you out of this boat. When it pours, it rains. <laughs> he even got that backwards. I'll teach you backwards. I'll turn your head around backwards. You come at me, I'll, I'll use whatever it takes to lay you out. Mm -hmm. Tremble and shake. Tremble and shake. Stop it! You and your wife have done enough. We want you out of our lives. There was a time in our lives, kid, when you were wide open to me. Gil, baby. Not time. It's not time. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. You came this close. First place, this boat will fit. You're off. You can't come soon enough. Your wife is certainly attractive when she's angry. Been such gracious hosts. We'll get together again real soon. Mm -hmm. Take me down, baby. Gil, Gil wants a nap. Gil wants a nap. Get this over with. Well, this is it, baby. What's that they say fishing guests stink after three days? Mm. Mm. That sure smell funky. Like a ramen rut, honey. I like it. <laughs> hey, Morgan. What kind of jerkwater place is this? Your kind of place, Gil. Big and tacky. You'll be right at home. I'm always at home, Morgan. You just gotta knock real loud. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Off to charm the Sicilians.
We go across tomorrow. Why don't we sort this out before we get on the boat? Just tell me straight out what's on your mind. I want to tell it straight. Why don't you start? Thank you, Nora. What do you want me to say? I'm talking to you. I think. You better forget about this. Oh, God, I don't believe it. You just can't bring him up, Gil. Love We missed you guys. Oh, my feet are killing me. Introduce everyone, baby. This is Maria. Maria, honey, sit down right over there, okay? Maria's our tour guide here in Syracuse. Mm -hmm. Don't you just die for nails like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Go on, honey, tell him. It's like this, partner. I just plain lost my head. On the boat down. And this is my way of apologizing. Keep it low. We're not buying the act. You're not invited. You're hurting my feelings. All right, Morgan. The money was crass, I admit it. Here you go, baby. <clears throat> I'm not even the same league as a guy like you. Let him at least buy you a drink. Senor! Tin que whiskey! Dope it! Bet you could use a double shot right about now, huh? You listen to me, son of a bitch. I'm sorry, honey. But remember, you're the gentleman. We tried our darndest. Hey, sweetness, time to go. <laughs> Gil speaking. Wake up, Carl. <laughs> Watch this. What the hell are you whoa, doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Just a trick, more. Just a trick. do that all night long and she'd never flinch. It's the morphine. You're insane, both of you. Kid. You're headed for an Italian jail. Stay away from us. It's got a safety. We'll see you guys for breakfast. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we'll come by the boat bright and early. Take you guys to our favorite place for some ham and steak. Yeah. Last night's gonna be a hard act to follow. Local hooker, vlogs, knife tricks, recreation, freelance style. 6 a.m., I'm exhausted. Why are we letting them push us out of here? You want more of the same today? It's time we run a check on Gil Freeland. I'll be on the radio. This is Charlie the Bird calling. I need to contact Interpol regarding two U.S. citizens by the name of Gil and Mark.
No wind at all. That's why they call it a doldrums. Why don't we just start the engines? I don't like sitting here. Because we'd blow our fuel, that's why. You're in an even fouler mood now than you were before, if that's possible. It's 98 degrees. We're stalled flat. We're not moving. If we ever had any luck, it's gone now. Why don't we just get it out, one way or another? Let's finish it. Just say it. Say where we're both pretending I don't know. Will that put an end to it? Try me. I slept with Gil Freeland in high school. How could you at any point in your life let this man touch you? It didn't end it, did it? Did Was it in the high school parking lot? Stop it. In the backseat of his car? Stop it. Was it short and brutal? Yes, it was in the high school parking lot, in the back of his car, and yes, it was short and brutal. What do you want me to say, Morgan? I just don't understand why you didn't tell me. When could I have told you? After the reunion, I never thought we'd see these people again. What would have been the point? I would have never invited these people on board of my ship. I'm working on my marriage here. Your marriage? Who do you think has held this marriage together the last 18 years? Oh, come on. Your marriage, your life, your work. You've never had time for anyone or anything. I built you a house. We have no children. We have no friends. Our life, our marriage is a shambles. I gave you everything you wanted. It's like this stupid hotel we keep saying we're going to build. We can't build anything together. You're just fooling yourself. We wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for your goddamn heart attack. Um. Why didn't you leave me? You left me. A long time ago, you just never moved out. In that skiff. You can't do that, Morgan. We got big trouble. Our lives are in jeopardy, Morgan. The lady we were with last night, where she had a terrible accident. It wasn't our fault, Morgan, but try telling a pack of Sicilians that. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you. Get back on your skiff. Catherine, we have to go to the island. It's life or death. Can't get my flare gun. If you're not off this boat, when she comes back, I'm going to fire into you. For God's sakes, Morgan. Morgan, you turn us away. We are fish bait. Kit! Okay, okay. I got to do something. 